When you see triangles on the ACT, you need to know some of the basics. Like triangles always have three sides. And they always have three angles. These angles always add up to 180. And finally, you need to know that the formula for the area of a triangle is just the base times the height, which it meets at a right angle, times 1 half. So area is, is 1 half of the base times the height. But the ACT test writers are going to ask more than this and ask you to build on your basic knowledge of triangle properties. Question 37 asks, if triangle ABC is inscribed in equilateral triangle DEF, such that the vertices A, B, and C divide each side of DEF into two equal segments, then ABC must be. And then it gives me a bunch of different options for triangle types in the answer choices. Now, whenever they're describing triangles or other geometric figures and they don't provide them, you should draw your own. So it tells me that DEF is an equilateral triangle. That just means each of the sides is the same. It also means that each of the angles is the same. So if the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180, then the angles of an equilateral triangle are always 60. Okay, then it tells me ABC is inscribed in this triangle. Now inscribed is just a fancy word meaning written inside of. And it says that it's done in such a way that the vertices, which is another fancy word that just means corners, cut each of these sides in half. So I can draw the midpoints of each of the, the sides, connect them, and I'll get my triangle ABC. And I can see right away that this, just like DEF, is also an equilateral triangle. So I look at the answer choices, and I can see that it's A. Now these other triangle types that will show up on the ACT, it's important to know what they, what they are, and it's important to know some of the basic properties. So for instance, B is what we call a special right triangle. It's a 45, 45, 90, so it's an isosceles right. So both of these sides are equal, both of these angles are 45. And if I know this, I know that, let's say I've got one side, and I can get the other, and I know that the hypotenuse, the long uh, side opposite the right angle, is always S root 2. So this is one of the special right triangles. In answer choice C, it's just, it just says isosceles and then tells me, okay, two of the sides are congruent or equal. So like this, this one, S and S, two sides are equal. The second special right triangle is an answer choice D, and that's the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So there's my right angle, there's my 30, and my 60. And whenever I see a triangle like this, I always know the hypotenuse is twice this shorter side, and that this side, the one opposite the 60, is just x root 3. Finally, answer choice E describes an obtuse triangle. An obtuse is just any angle greater than 90, so I would get a triangle that looks like this. One angle greater than 90, and two acute angles. So whether it's obtuse or it's one of these two special right triangles, you have to know more than just the area of a triangle or that the angles always add up to 180.